because I think it's a learning opportunity for a lot of you guys. So let's go over what McAfee has been doing. So as we can see here in this post on December 23rd from McAfee, McAfee's Twitter, he posted coin of the day digibyte. Now, what was happening every time he would post is that you would see a nice pump in the coin's price. So here's the 23rd. As you can see, this is a bit abnormal, the amount of price spike. The coin, the coin gains about 89% in four hours. So you see an insane rise in price. It did fall back down in that four hours, of course. There was a pullback. But this just goes to show you the power that his tweets had. So what happened was that people developed programs to automatically take his picks that he tweeted about and buy immediately. So let's go ahead and look at another one that he hit. He, let's see, red coin on December 24th. So let's pull that up. So on December 24th, we can see another abnormal spike in price and in volume. We'll go ahead and measure that one out. It actually, I know it's hard to see on your guys' screen, but the price actually went all the way up here. And that is a 217% return. Now, let me break that down um, into a better chart so you guys can clearly see what I'm talking about. Okay, what I've done is I've backed up into a five minute chart. So you can see this is all over the place. This is, we'll have to go back to when we believe he tweeted. And here we go. So let's go ahead and get this in the center of the screen for you guys and zoom in a little so you can really tell. Now, does this not look a little strange? I know it's so hard to see because the candle is literally in five minutes. It's by 200%. It's an insane spike. And this is what we're dealing with. So this is probably what you're seeing here is when the first box came out. And so then you would see instant buys and instant reaction to his tweets now let's see, let's just check one let's just check one more so i can show you guys just one more example hmq so we have hmq was tweeted on december 25th so we'll go back to the 25th and um do you guys see the abnormality yet no let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit uh yeah it's a five minute candle guys that is insane so once again we see in five minutes the price went up 134 percent 135 percent in five minutes needless to say some people made a lot of money and some people probably got hit pretty hard when it pulled back all the way down here and never recovered uh, literally that was a difference of 10 minutes. If you didn't get in on time, you lost a lot of money. If you were able to get in within the first five minutes, you probably made out pretty happy. So no one really knows. So what I wanted to do was to uh, bring you guys not really insider information, but I just have access to the scripts and I'm pretty well connected in the community. And for those of you who just aren't as connected as I am and as our company is, uh, I wanted to go ahead and share the Python scripts here. So this was released by a coder and he didn't charge anything for it. He asked for donations for those who would like to donate. You can donate. And so I will go ahead and include the two different types of scripts he made for Python that will do all the automatic buying when he would tweet. So what happened is Matt McAfee's account was hacked. And what the hacker did, <laughs> for whatever reason, he decided to go ahead and ruin the fun for everyone. And he started to post just spams of buy this coin, coin of the day, this. And these are the things that the bot was looking for. It was looking for the names of coins that John McAfee tweeted, and it was looking for coin of the day in the post, things like that. And so this caused a lot of people to buy coins that weren't really what McAfee was saying to invest in. So if we look at the first coin that they pumped, it was Sidecoin, which if any of you know about a lot of the hacker communities, you probably know why the hacker chose this coin to be pumped first. It's not a coincidence, but let's go ahead and see exactly what happened so we jump over to the chart here and we can see this is what the result was you can see the volume for sidecoin is nominal there's really no action with sidecoin it's pretty pretty dead coin um, it, it has had movement but when you're talking about volume wise it doesn't have a lot of new volume kicking in um, you can see probably 
this odd spike right here was maybe the hackers preparing for this attack that they knew that they were going to do and pump the coin. But that's just a guess. So what we can see here is an enormous spike just out of nowhere and the price goes up an insane amount in five minutes so the bot hit that coin first and then the coin of course dumped super fast and so uh, you basically if your bot is just a few seconds slower than everyone else's you're probably going to lose a lot of money as it comes falling down the next coin we see is NXT which interestingly enough actually had a lot of action on its own without this pump but let's go ahead and see what happened the time that it happened should be right around here. Uh, we see a tiny spike in volume, but nothing significant. Now, some of you go, well, that doesn't make sense when we saw the other coin spike insanely. Well, the reason that is, is that the scripts were made to use 100% of your balance to go ahead and buy. And so once they've already bought one coin, if you spam, see this one is 10 minutes, seven minutes, then four minutes. Now it's no longer has balance to buy the next coin. Uh, and most likely it would not be activated to look for another coin to buy. I haven't gone over the script exactly. I didn't use it myself. I didn't see a reason to get in on these pumps just because of how deadly it could be for a large balance. And so this is something that explains why some of these coins did not pump like the first one. SC obviously had a huge pump. So McAfee decided after this to no longer do a coin of the day, but from what I've read, he's decided to go ahead and do a coin of the month. Um, I guess that's still to be seen. If you can correct me on that, go ahead and put it in the comments below. He came out admitting that his account was hacked. The uses of these bots are no longer there if he doesn't do the coin of the day, obviously. However, there is still value in things he tweets because a lot of people are still following him for investment advice. So it just take everything he says with a grain of salt. What his actual knowledge is of the crypto field and his expertise, uh, I don't see it. I, he's said a lot of crazy stuff, including how he's going to eat his dick if Bitcoin doesn't reach, you know, it's uh, $1 million of Bitcoin by 2020, all kinds of crazy stuff. Whether you can trust his advice, I'm not sure. Pumping a coin is one thing, actually predicting quality advice is yet to be seen. We will have to see how this year turns out. As with everything, just don't invest anything you can't afford to lose and you'll be all right and then hopefully you'll make a lot of money. I have other videos that I'm finishing up now. I just need to put them out at a certain pace. Um, as always, uh, I have a huge projects in the workings. I'm giving away Bitcoin once again and the way I'm gonna do it is, uh, I'm not doing ads, but I've applied to have ads on the videos only because I want to give away all the money that the ads earn. Talking to other YouTubers, I'm assuming the videos will earn somewhere around $2 every thousand views. That's not a lot of money, I know, but what I've decided to do is uh, just to build up until my AdSense is enabled, for YouTube if it is enabled. I will go ahead and give away in Bitcoin $2 for every thousand views to a random comment. So that's every single video I do. I will go ahead if that video has, you know, 100,000 views, you will get $200. A random a random commenter will get $200. Now there's going to be other bonuses I'm going to include. Um, we have a company we're partnering with and we'll be giving away like apparel, we'll be giving away uh, hardware wallets. We have a lot of things that we're working on right now, including an app that I've talked a lot about on Reddit. If you found this video through Reddit, probably look at the account that posted about it and you might learn a little bit about the app that's in the workings. Besides that, uh, comment, like, subscribe, and in the comment, place your BTC address in order to qualify to win free Bitcoin. And like I said, hey, it benefits you if you help me spread these videos and get the word out. The more views we get, the more money is given away. And in the comment of this video, I will be giving away Bitcoin to someone who commented their address on my last giveaway video. So congratulations to whoever that will be and until next time, stay cryptic and informed. I'll catch you guys later.